Now we are going to talk about our earth, where man lives, where we all live. But firstly, we'll talk about our solar system. I have a chart here for you. You can see our solar system. Now this represents the sun here and then all the different planets. So let's imagine our sun is here and then we see all the different planets around our sun. Now, the planets are always going round the sun, they go round and round the sun. Now, this is where we are, our earth. You can see the earth is the third planet from the sun. This is where we live. And then we have other planets. See that the, uh, we see that Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, and then we have all the other different planets going round and round the sun. How long does it take the light from the sun to reach us on the earth? That is something for you to find out. How long it takes the light from the sun? to reach us. Now, all the planets around the sun go round and round the sun like this. The planets that are closest to the sun move round faster than those that are far away from the sun. The planets that are far away from the sun move more slowly around the sun. So the planets keep on moving round and around the sun. They never stop. So why do the planets not fall into the sun? Because they keep moving. They just keep on moving and moving. Now, watch this. The the ball of paper fell because it stopped moving. It lost momentum and stopped moving, so it fell. It fell. Now the planets don't ever stop moving. They just keep on moving and moving. And that's one reason they don't fall into the sun. Another reason why they don't fall into the sun is this. When they move round and round the sun like this, when you, if you do this experiment or this activity, you will find that there's a pull, you feel a pull from the ball and the string. This kind of pull has a name, it's called a centripetal force. So it's not just the movement that keeps the planets in their orbit around the sun. There's something called centripetal force. The force that you feel when you swing a string and a ball are over your head. Now this pull that you feel is like the pull between the sun and a planet between the earth and the moon. This force, which is called centripetal force, keeps the planets in their orbit. It is a force that keeps the moons in their orbits around the planets. So we have seen two reasons why the planets don't fall into the sun. The first reason is that they keep on moving, they never stop. And the second reason is because of the centripetal force, which is a pull between the sun and the planet, between the earth and the moon. 
between the moons around the planets. So that this is why the planets never fall into the sun.